whatever you guys is your <coughs> yeah got you D. and i'm back to bring you some more final fantasy VII rebirth how y'all doing how y'all doing let's see that's been the last episode last episode quick recap went to calm oh yeah yeah escape from calm went on a date era real quick got me a new sword and i was able to uh what you call 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 get the thing up my proficiency up with my buster sword so i don't have to if i can use what you call it if i don't want to but now, i want to see what fireball blades all about oh, oh shit! That was dope. That was dope. I got your number. Take the lead. Let's play with red too. Hold on. Oh, let me. Let me. Oh, did. Oh, you did. You see that shit? That's Red's. That's Red's attack. I'm just like, God damn, Red. Nigga, cold as ice. But anyway, I didn't want to see it. Now, here we are at Oliver's farm. You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. It's a black man. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. Ah. <sighs> good drink, good drink. Oh, when I was off adventuring, there's like, bust. I found like a busted bench that you can sit on, but you need a cushion. I I don't know why you need a cushion, but whatever. See, I always buy the the, the shit that's in stock. I'll buy the shit that's sold out. Is that it? Alright. Now, what in the blue hell are you? Oh! This is. Okay. Now, what are you? Range way. Okay, what are you? Haven't done that. Powerful Punisher. Maybe. Or Wind Current. Um. Ooh, max HP though. I do always love my characters to have more health. Um, I'll I'll do this. Okay, so I gotta have Barrett and Red for this. That's fine. Oh yeah, cool. Give me that. Give me that HP. I don't know if this is the correct way, but I'm going to finish off. So I'm going to get these two next before I move out. And Relentless Red. Yeah. Red, what we got? What we got? What do I want to do with you, Red? You can either get the counter spin. 
Wow charge. Okay. Wildfire. Again. I think I'm gonna go. I like having HP. That way I can uh live longer. Rolling thunder. Jet stream. Oh, so that's 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 yours for when. Okay. I'm about to say. Mm. Well, you're my white mage, so I need you to. Did you get your HP or uh, MP up? Barut, Iron Defense. It's not even gonna look. Y'all already know what I'm gonna do. And then Madam Tifa. Combo damage. down there all right no wonder it's basically stocking up right here right there okay it's not like okay okay, okay. all right <clears throat> whatever I think I want to do like a boss fight. I'm already about to level this, get this a uh, proficiency up. So, okay, strike two or more enemies and cast it. Okay, focus on air. But yeah, no, I have been enjoying this game. I was complaining about certain things in the last episode. That's just. Chuckle Bill. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. 
No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Nickel. Don't just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. You ain't gotta make it so weird, my guy. I promise you, you ain't gotta make it so weird. Let's see, I could take off the material from somebody else and give the cloud, but I don't know. Oh, 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 keep rocking out. But yeah, <clears throat> like I said, I was, I was complaining about some things. Yeah. So I, this game, it's mostly because I was replayed Final Fantasy VII Remake. And like I said, there's, you know, I played the game various times, so I just want to keep the cutscenes and speed through it, but then the game won't let me. So, like, the egregious thing was freaking. Don't overdo it. The Nibelheim thing. That's it. Where they just had me. They had me freaking. Did it the moment they died. It was too late. Right. Well, I got Red's proficiency. Uh, who, who, who wanted? Who wanted? Who, who? You sure you want to fight? Keep it together. I'll take care of them. You'll see. You'll see. Ah! Get ready. Here. Thank you. Nope. That's Soul Drain. <laughs> Air no air no prey. I know cure. Okay, that makes sense. Well, hello, hello, hello. Have we up? Anything here, Gamna? Is there some ruins? All right, bit. Who did? Who won it? Keep it together. Here goes. Go okay. That'll do. Get him. Cloud, no, Cloud, if you may. No, we can see. Oh, Pressing one of the four action buttons while guarding. You want to see a synergy skill, you can specifically and hold down and tap. You're up. Let's go. Do it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. 
Oh yeah. My <laughs> I've gotten the option to summon quite a few times, but I was like, no, no, I'm not gonna summon just yet. I'm gonna wait till I start recording again. So we can experience summon in this game together. It's probably the same how it is on the, on the remake, but you know what? Stand in back. I like the open world feel right now that we're going with, which makes sense because that's literally what happens when you get out of Midgar in the first game. You just no sign of the way you want to yeah. a degree. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across, then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juno. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? Oh. I mean, we could. Then let's not. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. There you go. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Why are y'all up in my face? Fine. <laughs> I wonder where I wonder where we should go to rent some chocobo. Did not mean to rhyme, but hey. Nick got bars. Damn. It's a lot bigger on the map. But didn't I go all the way? There we go. Ah leave my boy. This map big as hell. Gotta pick this shit up, cause I don't wanna. Hey, you never, you never know when you might need, I might need to make some shit. So I just wanna make sure I always have. Oh, I don't think I've ever said this, like, on, in a video, or a let's play, whatever. But I, yeah, see, look, this is the, uh, broken down bench you gotta have a cushion I don't know why I just clearly you should have you dead time to waste but um Oh, uh, okay. So, if you ever seen the old movie Alien vs. Predator, it's it, it's an art movie. It's not the best, but it's it's not. Who won it? Who won it? Who won it? I get into every Deal with that. I'll take care of them. Wait, wait. This one's for you. Get ready. It's an okay movie, but it's not anything good. The point I'm trying to make is, despite that movie, there's always one line that stood out to me in that movie. Like, and that movie came out so fucking long ago, like early 2000s era, right? Almost 10, 20 years ago. I wouldn't say 20, but it's definitely been more than 10. Be 
your ruin. Nothing to it. Red. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's a goddamn mini nuke, bro. But anyway, from uh, <clears throat> the game, uh, the movie, Alien vs. Predator, there's always been one thing, one quote that stuck out to me. And I have been going by it ever since. So the, the girl in the movie is getting questioned. I'm like, hey, why are you bringing a gun? Like, this is supposed to be a peaceful expedition. And she responds. Hey, look at that. And she responds, um, it's, li it's like, a c it's like, it's uh, like, having a condom. It, it, don't worry about, don't worry about that part. But basically she says, oh, I can make, oh, okay. I, I wouldn't pay attention to this. Okay, 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 okay. Definitely go. Okay. I have to do this? Anyway, um, basically she says, better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And for the most things in my life, that has been my motto. So when you see me just randomly go out the way to pick up all this side shit, even when I don't, there's really no need to go get it. It's because I would rather need it and not have it. No, I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, that makes sense. You're probably wondering what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease. Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. Nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Billy? Your name is Bill and his name is Billy. With a big ass world like this, there's definitely gonna be some form of fast travel eventually. Dead or just. Because I know it was like in a. Uh, 2000. Give me Give me this. There's a uh, like in what's that what's that deal game? Oh, Final Fantasy sixteen. Final Fantasy 16, after you find a choke, chocobo, like you rescue, like you get your old chocobo friend companion back. Uh, 
Yeah, you can you can use them to write whatever you want, so. Yay! Now I have a now I have a slot field. Maybe I'll get the ride chuckle for free after a certain point. Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Pops. <laughs> I got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But. I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Ten grand? The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> You can start by looking for his tracks. Right. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. Oh, I gotta sneak and up on one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Uh-oh, I see a purple chest back there. Kid's a born yeah. businessman. That means somebody's weapons back there. If y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. All right, bet. Jacking y'all shit, man. Ooh. Ooh, dude. Timeless ride. So... Eric, thank you. Lord, I had a brain fart. Okay. <clears throat> Raise a barrier that damages and temporarily freezes enemies who attempt to strike you. Strike an opponent and flick stop. Okay. Why y'all why are y'all breaking shit? That is that is outside. Alright. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Mm -hmm. Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Chocobo gear? Huh. All right. Shit. 
Shinra Avian Helmet, Shinra Avian Breastplate, Shinra Avian Greaves. Huh. Ah, I can buy stuff like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I have no monies. Yeah, boy. Broke as a joke. I ain't gonna sell it. What did I get? Rubies and emeralds. I see a grenade. I mean, yeah. Eh, I don't be using grenades like that. Cozy, quaint little ranch. So you got a nigga named Chocobo Bill, and then you got his grandson, Billy. Definitely named for his father, after his father. Grandfather. Okay. I'm not following it. I'm following this track. Okay. I should have followed my destination cursor and I was like, where the fuck go? Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Nigga. Why are you so loud? Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Alright, how do we do this? Approach Pico without getting noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack mates, quickly press the right side. You can stretch up by throwing stones. Oh, uh, this is gonna be one of them. Or I gotta do, or I gotta go slowly, but this is stuffy. Get your ass! Ah, nigga! Yeah! Ha ha! First try, baby. Good boy.
Coco Boy are cute, but they would not last in this world. Aww, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> Where's the music coming from? Oh Lord. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> Why does the chocobo music go so hard? What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. You would think Red. Oh. God damn, that nigga gone. That motherfucker fast in the bitch. You know what? That makes sense. That does make sense. Golly. Before though, who made this this soundtrack to the Chocobo theme? This bass though. Oh, um, I was gonna say I would I would think that since Red is like an animal, technically. Yeah. He pull like a chopper from one piece and just be able to speak to other animals. But I guess that's not how that works. Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him this. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? <coughs> Who the fuck is calling me? Chad Lee? Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. Oh, fuck. You do remember me, don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Again. I'm glad he shows up cuz I think I don't think I ever talked about this when I first said in the episode. Fuck Vice. He's the super he's the super boss of of the remake after you download the intermission uh, DLC and like oh my god fuck him he's oh my god he's such a stupid boss to fight like he doesn't like he's slow to stagger like his stagger game goes up so slow he you can uh, you can only really pressure him after he does after you dodge certain moves he does but the timing or man, I'm just bad. That could be the case. The timing in which you should dodge him are uh, hard as fuck. But if you don't, most of his attacks, most of his shit is unblockable, first and foremost. So there's no point in guarding. Like the one, the, like the ones you have to dodge to pressure him. To increase the stagger gauge, those are the unblockables. You can't just swing on them because he counters your shit. So there's no point in trying to rush his ass unless he's pressuring about the stagger. He can fling you up in the air, he can shoot you all in the air. So you got long ass hang time before you hit the ground. Then he has a, he has a second stage where he pulls out this big ass fucking fuck off cannon. With laser. Then he has another stage where he pulls out uh, it's like crossbow, sword combo, double bladed sword combination thing where he heals himself if he hits you. And if all of that wasn't bad enough, he has a literal one shot move where he one shots the whole party. And if at least not one of your persons has reprieve or a way to survive that hit. You're just dead, but also he can do it multiple times. Oh God, I'm gonna beat him one day. Not anytime soon, but one day he will suffer my wrath. And the reason I did it because of Charlie is because Charlie 
with Shinra and them, they, because Vice was an actual nigga, they, he's still alive, but they upgraded his consciousness into the program and whatever. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Created. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, you're a cyborg. I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need I'm, more battle intel. I know. That's I the cloud I know. I don't care. Always eager to get on with. I was... But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna wave towers first. They were originally constructed yeah. by the Republic of Juno, but were is. claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched. Oh my God! If you tell me when I activate these towers, I basically pull a, a, a Assassin's Creed or Breath of the Wild or any other type game like that was open world, and I go to a tower and I hit the tower and then I, I can expand the shit. I, that, that's what it is. That's what it is. Just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. Yep. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. What the fuck? The Chad module. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. <sighs> sure. And of course, you can run. And I do gotta do this slow ass job. I'm gonna try not to hype on, harp on this that much anymore, but it's just a stupid, it's a stupid mechanic. Here we are. All right, let's see what this damn thing can do. So Bill in the game just has this fuck off tower. Tower activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Mm. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Tell them important data you collect to develop new materia, new, create new combat simulations, embark on other scientific endeavors, activate the runaway tires you encounter, and help Charlie deepen your understanding of the world. I hope you'll assist me in uh, gathering don't. relevant data by completing uh, various tasks. This is why I love hate travels. about open world type in return, games. I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Pro quo. They give me so much to, to summarize. Do. I want us to become research partners, but before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Uh, sure. With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? This one, and I'm which done. particular task would you like to learn about? Oh my god, combat in the heavens. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures Ooh. and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. I'm good. 
Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Again. Yeah. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Yeah, Though right. hardly well, substantial, it is thing. enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Wait, wait. I can use fire and ice? Like. Okay. Auto cast. Morph material. Oh, morph. Okay. Oh, allow an ally to automatically use unique abilities and not actively control them in battle. These will also use unbridled strength when not actually. Okay. Uh, y you know what? I'll take this one. And I like fire and ice. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. What the fuck? <laughs> Ooh. Cloud. Titan. I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Alright. Here we go. Sadly combat simulator. Oh, okay, okay. I will definitely do all of that off screen. Damn nigga big as hell. He 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 ugly. Well, he look, that nigga look roided out like a bitch. <clears throat> Emergency sorry, I can see my ass. <laughs> Corresponding summon crystals? Full might. Oh, okay. So I can... So uh, if I, I, I automatically fight them at his strongest, but the summon crystals allow me to weaken them to Man, I ain't no pussy. Come on, y'all. Let's go, man. She ain't fuck Titan. Ooh, you a big lady. Ooh, I do no damage. Ooh, I do no damage. Hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Access. Okay, win. Okay, so I definitely go up against. I definitely need to put some wind material there. And I should. I guess I should keep using. Wrong one. Oh, he, oh, what the fuck? He killed Kraut. Um, oh no. Oh, because of course I don't have anybody.
Who knows Raze? Can prove instructive. That nigga ain't no bitch. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. So here what we gonna do. Oh, I can't use items. I was like, why couldn't Aerith and Red use items? Do I even have Raise. No, no, I do not. That's. Mm. Mm. Oh, you have women here, Tifa, 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 Tifa. You know Have you heard there are a variety of and are used for both? You should pick up any thank, you thank, find. Thank you. As certain shops might be willing to trade them for goods. Thank you. Sir. I'm gonna try this nigga one more time. I'm not gonna win. Like I already know I'm not gonna win. But I just wanna fight him again. Uh, yes, but you need teeth at this time. Cause she actually has the wind material. Alpha? Oh yeah, cause she can Oh, he's a good. Oh, air is the one. Oh my god, I'm too good. But you know what? I'm gonna beat his ass. Again, not not right now. But maybe not in the next episode either. But I'm, we gonna, we gonna, I'm, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. And I got his ass. But 
I'll worry about that in the next episode. Until then, I have been the yeah. Scott I hope you guys are enjoying it. And uh, I hope you wanna see me do this more. So, I think my boy uh, uh, T Will was also, he was on Twitch the other day playing this too. So you can also go there, Twitch, the Willa D. That's his Twitch handle. Yeah, okay, so again, yeah, I got Drew Redeem. Peace out. Love you. Bye. I'm waiting, Cloud.